All right, so I'm going to talk about wind shear and its effect on a storm, and specifically I'm talking more about like hurricanes. I'm not talking about wind shear in terms of microbursts in aviation, just wind shear on a storm. Uh, and so why is that important? What is shear, shear effect on something? Well, shearing is a type of uh, stress that you can put on something, okay? And there's two types of stress. There's axial and there's, shear, there's shearing force. So when you have a hurricane and it needs to form, basically it needs really calm conditions around it because it needs it needs um, for air, at least at the surface, it needs a low pressure at the surface, it needs for that air to start to rise and it, to, to start making these, these clouds that can kind of go up and gently kind of form on their own. Uh, and, and what happens is if you have a lot of shearing effect, the shearing effect is a force or it's a type of uh, you know st stress that comes in um, laterally from the side so it's kind of like a karate chop so if a, if a storm is trying to form and you get a strong 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 wind coming this way okay it's gonna cause it to shear and it's gonna kind of blow the tops off of those storms so you see the storms get blown sideways like that if you ever see a storm that the top looks like it's being blown sideways it's done basically growing it needs calm conditions to go up so the shearing of forces, if you have strong winds around a hurricane or a tropical storm that's trying to form, it's not going to be able to form because these shearing effects are just going to come in and they're going to just stop it from developing. It needs calm conditions to keep rising uh, above it, okay? And it needs just to keep being able to rise up like this without anything affecting it.